These are the 25 creepiest facts in GTA 5, and I searched hours to find the most unknown facts, so if you know more than 10 of these, then you're a certified nerd. Number 1. There is a bunker underwater that something lives in. When you sail or fly to the end of the map, your vehicle will be destroyed, and then a shark attacks you. Next to the observatory, you can find trash on the floor, and one of the newspapers says, coastline under threat, but it doesn't stop there. If you go inside a barbershop, you can find a photo of Los Santos being overtaken by huge waves. This house seems pretty normal, but the story that lurks behind it is extremely creepy and sad. The first obvious clue is on this wall. It has the numbers 180. Zero 07 with an arrow pointing to the left. When you follow the arrow, you get brought to this house, and this house represents a house of a victim from the famous Manson family. Before I explain how they're connected, let me quickly tell you what this family is. The Manson family was a group of people led by Charles Manson. They committed a series of murders in Los Angeles, including a pregnant actress named Sharon Tate. The 18 within the number represents the average number of members in the Manson family. And the 7 represents how many murders Charles Manson was convicted for in real life. If you still aren't convinced, here's the house in game, and here's Sharon Tate's old house in real life. The last creepy thing about this house is the people in the backyard don't act normal. When you bump into them, they instantly die and everyone else gets scared. If you play GTA 5, you know this isn't how normal NPCs act. So what do you think? Moving on, there's a message that says, ain't no mystery they drowned her because of what she knew. This isn't just a threatening message, it gets deeper than that, because the body can be found underwater at this location. In the mountains, there's this cult called the Altruist Cult. Basically, these older men believe in survival of the fittest, some walk around naked, and Oh yeah, they're cannibals. In story mode, Trevor even has the option to bring them sacrifices, aka people. Most people know about this mineshaft, but within this lightless tunnel, you can find a body. It goes super deep with multiple turns. Now what even less people know is that the body is actually connected to a secret mission. In one of Solomon's missions, you have to read a letter. This letter is wrote by the murderer Fred Quincy. He writes about some mistakes he's made, including dumping someone in a mine. That somebody is the man you find in the mine shaft. The graveyard has multiple secrets. If you come during the day, you can find a dog who visits its deceased owner every day, and it just sits there. Now this is actually based on a true story called the Greyfriars Bobby, and for 14 years this dog protected its owner's grave until it sadly died. And at this location you can find oddly large bugs. Most people think this is just a mistake, however others think that this is the start of a mutation disease. This next one isn't creepy, it's just sad. And you should hear this so it's not forgotten. Back at the graveyard you could find a bench, and the bench reads, in memory of Chris Edwards. Chris Edwards was actually a Rockstar Games employee. Sadly, in 2014, Chris Edwards passed away. He worked on five different GTA projects, the first starting in 2005 and the last ending in 2013. Rest in peace Chris Edwards. There's actually a house that bleeds when you shoot it. No one's sure if this is an easter egg and has more to it, or if it's just the developers that made a mistake. Back in the day, if you came to this location, you could see an image of Jesse Pinkman from Breaking Bad. However, once GTA came out on the new gen consoles, it was switched to a rooster, a cock rooster. Now don't get me wrong, this is funny, but it's also just a little creepy because what motivated them to turn Jesse Pinkman into this? Now I know mostly everyone knows about this ghost on the hill, and if you don't, you must have been living under a boulder, but if you open up your phone and type Lenora Johnson and click this website, it'll tell you how this girl became a ghost and how it happened. Going into even further detail, on another website called Accept the Chaos, there's a photo of a family, but when you press the button play God, it shows a photo of them in a car crash which I'm blurring out because it's pretty graphic. The dog in the photo is also a part of the aftermath, and following the same story, when Franklin finds a guy stuck in a tree who went skydiving, he was led there by a dog. And once Franklin told the guy his dog saved his life, the stuck man questioned that. That's a cool ass dog you got, homie. What dog? 
What most people don't know is the ghost dog is the same dog from the photo. In the water, you can find a skeleton, but not just any skeleton. One that belongs to a huge sea monster. The size of this is roughly 40 feet long. Now, if it had skin and everything else, it would be even bigger. The sewer is a very mysterious place. People believe there's something called the Rat Man living in here, and even though the Rat Man is never directly mentioned or shown, the fact is there's something living in here. Something big. When you go deep into the sewer, you can hear a heartbeat. It never changes rhythm and it stays consistent, so what could this be? Let me hear your theory in the comments. When you complete 100% of story mode, you can go to the top of Mount Chiliad and a UFO will spawn. This is linked to the Mount Chiliad mural where you can see a UFO at the top of the message. The Blaine County Motel is possibly the most scary location to visit at night. When you come here, you can hear footsteps that aren't yours, laughing, and even screaming. For some reason, there seems to be a lot of wildlife in this area. Fact is, this is done on purpose. Large content creators falsely led their audience into believing there was killer clowns that danced around at night, but these videos use mods and aren't real. However, Rockstar took this into their own hands and added spawning locations to a bunch of different animals in this area. So when players check to see if there's anything paranormal, instead of getting jump scared by a clown, they get jump scared by pigs. Now I will say this hotel does have a creepy atmosphere because you do hear weird noises, but there definitely aren't any clowns. At this location, you could find a cave with a lit fire and a skull. No one knows why it's here, but it belongs to the Altruist cult. And you can tell because the paintings are the same ones that you could find at the camp. This house doesn't bleed like the other one, but if you come here at night, you could look into the windows, and you'll be able to see blood that's already on the window. It's possible that the other house bleeding is just a glitch, but these blood stains are already here, meaning they got implemented for a reason. People say this is the scariest house in the game. Others report that they've seen this house on fire at night, as well as hearing screaming coming from within the house. These haven't been proven, but when I investigated it for myself, I found something very odd. When I entered the back room of the house, the only part you could go into, I was looking at the walls and I noticed a design that looked like a face. This might be my imagination, but I've never seen anything even similar to a face on a house. Fact is, this house is creepy. The Illuminati eye is seen throughout the majority of the map. You can find two posters of it in Lester's house, Franklin's original house, and it's even one of the largest company logos in the game. So if you find any more, let me know. The very first mission in GTA Story Mode is in North Yankton. Back in 2013, after the game's release, players started to notice something suspicious frozen in the stream. This frozen thing was an alien. Fun fact, this was the first easter egg that blew up in GTA 5. In the ocean, you could find a sunken plane, and this section of the ocean is known as the the Bermuda Triangle, because in real life the Bermuda Triangle is known for mysterious disappearances, similar to how this plane randomly got placed in the ocean. Now this 25th fact is extremely creepy and by far the most scary story in GTA 5. The Infinity 8 Killer. This is a guy who left behind multiple messages that proves he's killed people. One even tells us where he left his victims. I told the full story on this video right here, and thanks for watching.